बी द चेंज दैट यू विश टू सी इन द वर्ल्ड नमस्कार वेलकम टू पी टी पॉइंटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन Now recently Reserve Bank of India decided to keep the repo rate unchanged at 6.5% and RBI also retained GDP growth forecast of 7% for 2024-2025 financial year talking about the other key highlights trading of sovereign green bonds permitted in International Financial Service Center and RBI also decided to introduce a mobile app for its retail direct scheme which was introduced in 2021 and this scheme gives access to individual investors to maintain guilt accounts with RBI and invest in government securities and RBI has also proposed to enable the unified payment interface for cash deposits considering the app's popularity and convenience now let's know more about repo rate so friends it is the rate at which RBI lends money to the commercial banks for any shortfall in their funds it is the short term lending rate of the RBI and it is used as a tool to control inflation in the short run by increasing repo rate RBI increases the cost of lending of the banks and do you know friends reverse repo rate is the opposite of repo rate which is the rate at which RBI borrows money from the commercial banks to wipe out excess funds in their hands and RBI frequently adjust reverse repo rate to control money supply our next headline is related to section 144 of the CRPC which was recently imposed in leh ahead of pashmina march by climate activists to highlight shrinking grazing lands of the union territory now let's learn more about section 144 of the criminal procedure code of 1973 which authorizes the executive magistrate of any state or territory to prohibit the assembly of four or more people in an area it has has been used in the past to impose restrictions as means to prevent protest that can lead to unrest or riots it also restricts carrying any sort of weapon and order passed under section 144 remain in force for 2 months unless the government considers it necessary to extend now recently india abstained on a resolution at the human rights council that called on israel for an immediate ceasefire in gaza now let's learn more about human rights council so friends it is an intergovernmental body within the united nations system and it is responsible for strengthening the promotion and protection of human rights around the globe and for address in situations of human rights violation and making recommendations on them it was established in 2006 by the general assembly and it replaced the former united nations commission on human rights it is composed of 47 member states and it has the ability to discuss all thematic human rights issues and situations that require its attention throughout the year and it meets at the united nations office at geneva our next and last headline is related to antarctica and it is in the news because recently chief postmaster general of of Maharashtra Circle inaugurated the Bharti branch post office in Antarctica with new pin code MH1718 the first post office was established in 1984 at Dakshin Gangotri followed by another in 1990 at Maitri station and do you know friends it is earth's fifth largest continent which is covered almost completely in ice and it covers earth's south pole and today india has two operational research stations in antarctica and they are named maitri which was commissioned in 1989 and bharti which was commissioned in 2012 so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms